if you were following my thread, you probably uh, noticed all these uh, strange people that just can't believe what's physically possible, right? Okay, rule one is you have an infinite number of weak addresses. What you see here is my address generator. It's just generating random Bitcoin addresses that are potentially weak, right? So if, if you really suspect some conspiracy or whatever, feel free to uh, go through this video frame by frame and you're gonna see that they're all different, right? Now what I'm gonna do is flip a coin and when the coin uh, well, if I get a hat, I will probably stop this generator and pick the latest address uh, for further processing. Right. Flipping the coin. Is it hit? Yeah, it's hit. So right now I hit Control C, and the very bottom address is this one. Right. I just copy it make it appear a little bit bigger so let's launch MS paint yeah no that's no what the fuck I don't want paint man I want wordpad I, I'm not actually using Windows so uh, ah come on what the fuck again word it's so it's so hard to launch a wordpad right it's really hard but I just want this address to be big on the screen. There you go. This is a complete random address, right? Okay. It's shit. Okay, fuck this wordpad. You see it here. This is just one random address, you know? I just have the public key and this Bitcoin address here. So I have prepared a second computer with a wallet with 11 bucks in it. And now I will just send to this address. Okay, now 1KKMZ1. Okay, this is ridiculous, this quality, man. That's no, better. Okay, and KKMZ1XEBBCU. I hope I get this address right, otherwise uh, this coins go to limbo. B C U I G H W C G H Y F G H C X two V A M C A R P. Okay, this is just this random address that I have just scanner generated, and now I will send him 11 bucks. Okay, come on. Ah, fuck, I have to enter some amount. 0 0.0135. Go ahead. Come on. Okay, did it work? Okay, I have sent the money. Now let's go back here. What I will do now is copy this address. You know, go to blockchain, look up this address. It should have my funds in it. There you go. One transaction. I have just sent this one. 10 bucks, whatever. Right, so you think this is a perfectly legit address, okay? But now comes my cracker. Now, as we know the public key of this address, which is here, okay, I have, glad I have a 28 inch screen. This is the public key, basically. You can, you can, if you don't believe me, just paste it to some script kiddies shit, public key to address converting page, and you're gonna see that it's actually the public key of this address. Now, I launch my special program. I paste in the public key of this address, right? 
And now let's see how long it takes until it cracks it. There you go. Public key is there. Tahiti device and it's cracked, you know. Uh, I hope I can zoom in. So you see that actually... Okay, I, I want... What the fuck? This is a $2,000 computer and I cannot focus on this shit. What the hell? Okay, this is it. The address was cracked, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm totally getting fucked up right now. Because of the fucking screen quality. Anyway, you see? Why is this shit getting so bright in this, in this edge, man? Okay, now, you know what I do? I just do it quick. I copy the private key here. That has just been cracked. I create a new wallet. Some random shit, man. Asshole. At... Fuck, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't even want my email address putting in there. Right. I'm just creating a new wallet. Oh, I hate captures, man. I hate them so much. There you go. A new wallet. Yeah, come on. I don't want to print anything. Oh, login once again. Login once again. There you go, empty wallet. I go back here. I mark the private key in the wallet import format. I have extended my program to actually calculate it. Fuck off, you motherfucking asshole. <clears throat> All right, now I import. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Import the private key. There you go. Suck, and I got the 10 bucks that I have just stolen, man. This program is golden. Now, think what you want, and thanks for watching, man.